It's a very important question. The first thing you should do is properly cut and light your cigar. And let's do this shit all over again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Nick Perdomo, President Perdomo Cigars. First of all, I'd like to send a shout out to Old School Funk for some of his great questions today. And what I'd like to talk about is how to get the most out of a cigar, how to properly puff a cigar, how to enjoy the cigar, and how long you should, you should keep the ash on the cigar, the difference between a short finish and a long finish and the enjoyable part of a cigar, the time of day that you're gonna enjoy your cigar, and finally, how important it is to smoke in good company and smoke with friends? Well, first and foremost, you need to properly cut and light your cigar to really get the most out of your cigar. And if you go to our YouTube video that was just done previously and click on it, it'll teach you how to properly light and cut your cigar. And one thing I guarantee, you're going to get a lot more out of your cigar when you properly cut and light it correctly. As we start with the cigar, depending on the ring gauge meter, the most important thing is the intervals of how much we're going to puff on that cigar. If we puff too frequently, we're gonna build up a lot of heat. And when we build up a lot of heat by puffing too rapidly, what's gonna happen is we're gonna build some carbon buildup at the end of the cigar, and it's gonna taste foul. Take your time when you're puffing on your cigar. Depending on the ring gauge meter, that's gonna make a big difference too. So in other words, if you're gonna smoke a thin cigar, let's say a Corona 42 ring gauge or something to that, to that aspect, you're going to have to take a little bit longer in intervals to puff on that cigar. Reason being is because it's a smaller ring gauge, it's more concentrated and naturally it's going to burn hotter. As we get into bigger ring gauges like 50s, like Robustos, 54s, 56s, or even up to Gordos or Super Tours at 60 ring gauges, this, this, the cigar is gonna smoke much cooler. It's only natural because you have more circumference. So you're gonna be able to take a little more time on puffing that cigar and make it sure it's cool. And what's important, what I like to do is when I puff on a cigar, I like to taste the smoke. I like it to swirl around my mouth. No different than drinking a fine big wine where you, it just swirls around your mouth and you're tasting all the flavor nuances that that wine has. Well, it's the same thing with us. The master blender, we have decided exactly what that cigar should taste like. And the only way you're gonna savor those flavors is really enjoying and taking your time with the actual cigar. And remember one thing, it's a celebratory thing. That's the way I look at cigars and you deserve it. So take your time Puff slowly and enjoy your cigar. Another thing is the ash. Should you break it off or should you leave it on the cigar? I always believe that you should leave the ash on about an inch, an inch and a half, something like this before you break it off. And the reason being is you don't want that ash to break down and stain your clothes or even burn your clothes. The importance of a good ash is really the construction and shows you how well the cigar maker constructed that cigar. But unless you're gonna be in a long ash contest, there's really no need to have a four or five or a six inch ash. What you wanna make sure is that ash is nice and solid because that shows your cigar was properly made. But I really believe that you should just leave it about an inch, inch and a half. And I'm also a big believer that if you leave the ash on for a little while, it almost becomes a radiator. It actually helps the cigar burn cooler. A lot of people say it and I believe it also. So I think at an inch, inch and a half is more than appropriate to leave your ash on. And it also shows how great the cigar is constructed. The finish of a cigar. What is the finish of a cigar? Well, a great quality cigar like this one here, after I've smoked it for the last 20 minutes, should have what we call a long finish. And what is a long finish? Well, I'm getting to enjoy this cigar because the finish just lingers and continues lingering in my mouth. And what that constitutes is not only a well-constructed cigar, but a cigar that's been properly cured, fermented, and aged. And a great quality cigar is always gonna have that long finish where that, those nuances of flavor just stay in your mouth consistently as you're smoking it. 
and it makes it much more enjoyable. So a lot of people ask, what is a long finish? Well, that is exactly what a long finish is. And that's what you should get in every one of your cigars that you smoke. It makes a huge difference in your enjoyment of a great quality cigar. Another thing is the time of day that you're going to enjoy your cigar. For example, myself, I'm in the cigar industry. So I'm consistently smoking and tasting different types of cigars, whether they be for future blends or for just my personal enjoyment. For example, in the morning, I like a dark espresso coffee, so I'm more inclined to start the day off with a Maduro cigar. A lot of people think the Maduro is strong, which in reality, it really isn't. Maduro means to ripen, it's sweet, and together with a nice dark coffee, that sweetness really pairs extremely well for my taste buds. And then during the day as I continue moving on after lunch, sometimes I like more of an earthy type cigar. So more of a sun-grown wrapper. I taste the earthiness of that tobacco with a slight, slight amount of spice, which I really enjoy. And then sometimes in the evening, I'll even go with a Connecticut Shade Wrap cigar, which a lot of people think is mild. Not necessarily, it depends on the blend that we have. For example, we have cigars that are very full-bodied with Connecticut Shade Wrappers. They they part really well with single malt scotches, for example, I believe. So it depends on the wrapper and the blend and the time of day and the time that you have to enjoy your cigars. So there's no right or wrong way. It doesn't mean that you have to smoke something with a light wrapper in the morning or something with a sun-grown wrapper in the midday or a Maduro in the evening. It just depends on your flavor characteristics and what you like. I personally go all across the board, but just depending on the meal, the time I have to smoke a cigar and what I'm looking for. So just because of that, a lot of times I'll smoke a Maduro cigar in the morning. So it just depends on your time of the day and what you enjoy. But what's fun about cigar smoking is to experiment with these different wrappers and see what you enjoy. I promise you, it'll be a lot more pleasurable. And finally, smoking with friends. This tip comes from Preppy Finance Nerd from Reddit. And let me tell you, we read all your input and we thank you for that. I've never smoked a bad cigar in great company, whether it be at a brick and mortar store, at a cigar lounge, with guys asking me questions, to even smoking cigars with my late father and my son. One of the great enjoyable things about smoking cigars is smoking in great company. And I'll be honest with you, I've never met many bad cigar smokers. So smoke a cigar and not only with your friends, but your local brick and mortar store in one of the great cigar lounges all over this country. It's one of the greatest enjoyable things I've ever done, and I highly recommend them.